Assalamualaikum. Welcome back, my friends, to my new tutorial. So, our TIA portal. So, we are now going to learn our basics. TIA portals, um, bits, and working of TIA portal in different functions. So, first of all, we have a. Uh, I am just open as uh, going to select and 0.0. My first tag, and now I am going to using my P thing you and 0 0.1 when I am going to just use the set as a Q0.0 which was our circuit now I am going to select another and this is 0 0.2 another bit and I am just using again a P trink there And I am just using and I am 0 0.2 there, 0 0.3, and I am going to set it, reset it, so you will see it's working because you will always see the positive edge and negative edge working. But in beating and in beating, in beating and entering, they are working same. But both we use different functions. Both these both two a function as a positive edge, which is used by there is a positive edge in both functions. But they are the in the positive edge. They are both in the positive edge. So these are working same. So I am just going to show you. I am just going to download it into my PLC. Again compiling it and again downloading it to my PLC. Now I am just showing you. After I am going to modify it to 1. You will see it just send a single pulse to set my output. And after I am going to modify it to 0, modify it to 1, so you will see it will reset our output. So that's how P train is work. Now I am going to change it to entry. So I am just modify it to 0. Now in the beating you will see that after it will set bit after we after we are going to off our um, this is a and one there and zero point three there. So I am again going to compile it and download it to my PLC and now I am going to show you after we own our end thing it is not going to set our output you will see our output is not set because when we are going to off it then our output will set so I am just going to 0 then you will see our output is set so they is both these both two are working like a, a negative edge are working like a negative edge they both have a negative edge function so in the negative edge function we use both like there so i am going to again use it to modify it to one you will see it not reset our output but just, just when i am going to off it so it will reset our output. So I am going to hope you will see it reset our output. So that's how beating and entering going to work. It will also have a rising edge and falling edge. We are just going to use it. So I am just going to off it. Going offline again. And I am going to use a rising edge there. You will see it will have a database. So I don't, uh, maybe I am now I am going to show, you will see I am going to, it is the same like working as 0 0.0 and 0 0.1 and I am again going to use a rising here and I am going to use a 0 0.3 there. Now if I am going to set 
that I am just place going to cut it and paste it there using 0, 0. so you will see this is how it's going to work so I am just uh, maybe I will use it there so I am just going to online sorry I'm not going to online, I'm just compiling it and I'm just uh, I will press the zero one zero here I'm just compiling it and downloading it so now I'm going to online it will save work as a you will see it is now going to false and I modify it to zero. So I just use it there. And then I'm now going to modify it to one. And now I'm going to modify it to zero. But uh, I think these are both working same like uh, negative edge and the positive edge we don't use. So thank you very much for watch my videos, please subscribe my channel, like my videos and comments if you don't understand anything and in the description I am, we, we, I placed a link of Windows of to SCADA, Ignition SCADA if you want to learn and I also give my phone number and my whatsapp number and my all LinkedIn data there so if you want to reach me so my number is below now in the description so thank you very much again